Hey guys, welcome back to Empty Stripes. This is Tawhid and in this video I will tell you how to make this animation. Okay, that's it. Let's start the DaVinci Resolve. Okay, open the project and come to the project settings. You can either uh, click on our shift and nine to open this or bottom right corner you can see here project settings open it and change the timeline frame rate and a playback frame rate to 30. so timeline resolution i have set already for fhd and click save on it Now click on FX library to bring the fusion composition just to drag and drop it in uh, timeline click on it and come to the fusion tab to do that animation first we will create a ball sized circle for that to bring the eclipse and the background and connect that eclipse to background and bring the merge and connect this background to merge background so click on this right view to watch here and change the background color from black to white and in the eclipse click on it and reduce the size like a ball sized you even uh, come to the width side here and right side change it to point 0 to 5 okay for the height also change the same point 0 to 5 for reference you can change the name from eclipse to ball and background 1 to you can even right click and rename or click on f2 to change the name ball underscore bg and let's animate this ball click on it and in the frame rate 60 this ball should be on this place so click on this keyframe on center and come to the very beginning frame rate 0 and bring this ball to outside of this frame total frame and come to the frame rate 10 and bring this ball behind this correct position okay change it to 0.35 so it will bounce above to down and then it will go to up for that come to the frame rate 20 and bring the ball to above till this so you can change 0.80 click enter and then click on frame rate 30 and bring this ball again to down this time above the first one so that just set 0.45 and come to the 45 frame rate bring this to above the correct position so you can set it to 65.65 enter and in the 60th frame rate already we have set to the center position so from the beginning you can see it will bounce like a ball but it is not a smooth animation for that come to this spline window click on f4 to expand the window and uh, click on this bell click uh, this fit button and select all control plus a and click s so the animation will be smooth now just come to the beginning and click on play we'll see still the animation looks not good that because it is like uh, hitting on the wall will change the animation simply come to the frame rate 20 
here in the keyframe just select this two like this so the bounce will be very smooth you can see here in the 20 like that in the 45 also just change it to flat so the animation will be very smooth like a bouncing ball and then 45 so in the 60 it will set to the correct position close this spline window come here then to create a rectangle outline bring the rectangle and the background connect this rectangle output to background input and background output to merge one output so all the things are merged now click on this right view merge to to watch here change the background color from black to white then come to the rectangle and change the size come here in width change from this numbers to 0.8 and for the corner radius change it to 1 totally then click on this solid uncheck it that because uh, right now it is a totally solid when you click it will like uh, alpha so come to the bother with change it to 0 0.005 so click on somewhere empty place you can see the outline border of rectangle now we will animate this rectangle okay for that uh, come to the frame rate 90 and set this value as it is check the keyframe with with the size 2.8 and for the height uh, this much is not needed so we can reduce it to two no okay one eight is good point one eight and click the keyframe you can even right click and set key so come to the frame rate 75 and reduce the height size only and make sure it is it should be matched with this ball so point three zero three is not good so zero three five zero seven is good point zero three seven and click this also for width the size keyframe click on it and come to the frame rate 65 and reduce this size of width to matching this ball try fixing 0 0.025 no zero two four. Yeah, this looks good so you can see now the frame rate is 65 this rectangle should show but till 64 it should not show for that uh, click on uh, one frame rate before by clicking uh, left arrow you can see here 64 frame rate and make this level to 0 and click keyframe and come to the 65 and make level to 1 this all for the rectangle come to the ball and click on it till 64 it should show this ball should show 
for that click on the keyframe and next frame 65 it should not show the ball should not show for that come to the level again and bring it to zero so you can see now the ball bouncing will happen till 60 and till 64 it will show and 65 it will disappear and the rectangle will show which we created now then 65 to 75 the rectangle expanding and 75 to 90 it became an outline border of a rectangle now we'll create the text for that bring the text node here and merge it to this merge to output click on this right view to watch here and click the text and change the text m t s t r i b e s my channel name and font i am going to change as uh, jost and the size i'll keep it as 1.1 1. 1. okay for the tracking also i'll change it to little bit it looks okay with white but i'll change it to red we'll see how it looks looks good okay now we'll add the mat node to hide this text bring the background and rectangle select both and bring it here and select this background to here text and we'll start animation for text now in the frame rate 90 the rectangle expanded totally so that text also should happen the same time so same like the size change the corner radius as it is change the size and set the keyframe of only height make it one five okay set the keyframe for text rectangle in the frame rate 90 and frame rate 75 reduce this size to zero make this height to zero that's it so you can see now from 0 to 60 that bounce ball will be finished then 75 with the expander and 90 both the text and rectangle expanding will happen now come to this spline window and make the animation smooth click on it and click f4 to expand the window and ball animation smooth we have done it already uncheck and for the rect rectangle one click on it and one by one will do level click the fit button and click inside it select control a and click s then come to the width click on fit button again control a and click s to smooth you can see here some things are happening you don't need this make it flat so when it happens okay this looks good in the 90 it is happening and 75 okay this is done 
and for the height click on fit button again control a and click s to smooth it you can see here finished now click on rectangle 2 only height we have selected already so click on fit button and click control a and click s to smooth it so all the things are done click on spline button to close click this merge output to media out in click on right view to watch here come to the edit tab click on this loop to automatically play back uh, all the time click play so now rendering is happening from red to blue I'll skip for some time okay now render is completed and it is having a smooth animation now okay we have selected only to view to close this animation we can do the thing like this select this fusion composition control C copy it and bring this timeline cursor to end of this and click control V to paste it here and right click and create a new compound clip click create now click on the compound clip and again click a change clip speed here you can see the reverse speed option click on it and change so you can see here the animation will close but in this compound clip it is a reversing so the ball also will show for that we don't need this ball this is enough so keep this cursor timeline cursor here and click control B to break even you can uh, do it from here click on it and so it will break and click again this one is not needed click backspace to delete it and you can see now all the things will happen in seven and a half seconds automatically the ball bouncing that's it and click ctrl f to view on full screen thanks for watching and i hope you like this video so give thumbs up and if you need anything just mention it in the comment and don't watch yourself share to the other people and subscribe to empty strives also if you would like to donate for my future youtube studio setup i will put my paypal and btc address in the description See you on next video. Have a good day.